Hi guys, welcome to the Chef's Backyard. My name is John and I am the chef here at Chef's Backyard. This is my channel, welcome. Tonight we're going to cook a rotisserie chicken and uh, I'm also gonna do some veggies with that. Um, I've been contacted with Monument Grills Any live stream? Anybody there? All right, let's see. All right, we're just going to do a mic check real quick. All right, we're just going to do a mic check real quick. All right. So here we go. So now that I know that my microphone is working tonight, we're going to do a little veggie prep and we're going to use my brand new rotisserie. I've got a chicken that I've got over here. Hey, thanks, Jimbo. Great to see you, brother. Thanks for tuning in. Um, again, this is the chef's backyard and on my channel, I share cooking tips, tricks, recipes, and how to's. Um, recently I was contacted by a company called Monument Grills. They reached out to me and asked if I would, uh, review one of their grills. They sent me out the Mesa 400. That's what I've been cooking on for a couple of weeks here. Um, it's got the clear view lid. It's got four burners. It has a Beautiful side burner, which I'm not going to be able to use tonight because I am going to use the uh, rotisserie. So the rotisserie will just go on here. We'll make sure that the chicken is balanced and we'll get to cooking. All right, let's see. Thanks, Jimbo. Thank you, man, so much. So let's see. Let's move the camera over. I'm working on my live streaming. So let's see. We'll do this one here. I got a camera set up so that, that way I could do some veggie prep. Let me grab some gloves. I just got some simple stuff here and I want to put these underneath the chicken while the while the chicken is cooking that way we can get some veggie action going and use the the drippings that come off that chicken while it's cooking. And since we are going to grill these, they're going to be under pretty high heat. I'm going to go ahead and do some pretty big pieces. So you're doing all right out there in California, Jimbo? <clears throat> Let's see, I've got an onion here. We'll go ahead and clean that guy up too. Right, I'm always telling y'all, go ahead and peel off that outer layer. We'll get rid of that root. And we'll take off the top there. That's gonna be hard and chewy. Don't wanna eat that. Clean up the cutting board. Got these guys up. 
pretty quick, pretty easy. Got some carrots here too. Now we probably have enough heat that we could do them mostly whole, but these bigger ones, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up. Get rid of the stalk end. And these are just carrots. I'm gonna put this, this little tray of vegetables. Let's see, let me scoot this over just a little bit so that way you can see that part. Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna put these vegetables over here into right underneath that chicken while it's cooking. <clears throat> and I'll probably even put a little bit of broth in there. We'll, we'll put some chicken powder and then I'll do some, some water. And then that way we can make a broth in there. The vegetables will get soft, nice and soft. They'll take on the, the juice that's dropping from the chicken while it's cooking. And we'll have a great uh, dinner there. Mm, that's looking pretty good. I hope y'all are having a good week. I was off today, so I had a chance to kind of hang out and get some rest. Been working working a lot at work lately. Um, we had store inventory the other day, uh, so I had to be there at four in the morning to go and count beer, uh, which is ridiculously early, but hey man, that's what how we do it, right? Happens once a year, so it's not too bad. All right, and then I've also got some zucchini in there. I think that I'll take advantage of the grill and we'll grill that guy. Instead of, instead of adding it into that, we'll just grill this on its own over off to the side. If you're just joining, my name is John. This is my channel, it's called Chef's Backyard. I share recipe tips, tricks, and how to's. Uh, I just want to, I've been cooking for 25 years and I want to make you a better cook. I want to get you comfortable in the kitchen and uh, that way give you some knowledge so that way you can use all the equipment that you have. Uh, save a little bit of money by cooking at home and uh, feed your family, man. It's a life skill. I, I think everybody needs to know how to cook. You got to at least be able to know how to open up a box and make like some mac and cheese if nothing else, right? Okay, so we've got those prepped out. Happy with that. Set that over here on the grill. And now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my grill and let that guy get started. One of the things that I do have also over there, and I'll show you, I'll bring it back to the camera, is I've got this, uh, Monument Grill smoke box. So I've loaded it with chips, with smoking chips. This is mesquite wood. And we're going to put it back in the back of the grill. Switch camera angles. One of these days I'll be able to have a couple of cameras here and uh, maybe even have a crew. So I won't have to be the one moving the cameras. We can just push a button. But so here we go, man. This is the Monument uh, 400. It's been really wet and windy, Jimbo. Oh man, that sucks, dude. Uh, we're we're kind of having good weather here. Not not the best, but it's not cold and freezing or anything else. We're gonna go ahead and turn on the knobs, and then I'll give it the electronic condition of push. All of my uh, burners turned on, and. I'm going to go ahead and close the lid. Now we're just going to preheat this and get it up to temp. Forgot my lemon and my orange. There we go. You live right now? Yeah. Okay. 
So I've been using this new app. It's called Prism. And Prism is a live streaming app. And it is going to let me stream on multiple channels at once. So right now I'm on Facebook, I'm on YouTube, and I am on Twitch, all live, all at the same time. Let's see. All right, let me wipe down this pan real quick. And then I'm going to switch cameras again. I'm going to switch cameras. <laughs> What's up, Mario? How you doing, brother? Good to see you. Uh, I am having a lot of fun, man. I, I love cooking and I love sharing it with y'all. And that's what I'm here to do, man. I guess that's my life's mission, right? I have a cheat tray here. We've got a chicken. So this chicken cost me uh, $6 and 62 cents. And that's what I'm feeding my family tonight. So for a great value, we're gonna have a good meal. Now it's gonna take probably a little over an hour to cook, but the meal we're gonna have is gonna be pretty amazing, right? So I've got those chicken juices here in the bag. I'll go ahead and throw that in the trash. Now, let's see. Oh yeah, it does. This comes packed with some of the um, the innards, right? I'll go ahead and start cleaning it up. Get rid of a little bit of that fat right there. We don't really need that. Um, there's a few ways that you could truss it, but what I'm going to do is since this, um, since this rotisserie comes with rotisserie forks, we'll be just fine. We'll be able to just use that instead. So really surprised to find, um, I don't know, liver, chicken livers in there. Pretty cool. Um, let's see, what am I going to season this with? How about, we've got the last of this little steak rub here. we we'll use that guy up. This is a chupacabra. What's up, Andy? Bring some beers. Make sure you, you uh, season the cavity as well, right? You want to make sure that you get that guy in there. Now this is gonna turn and turn and turn. There's too much liquid on there and it took my seasoning off. All right. Rookie move, right Mario? I should have drained that over the trash, bro. All right. Let's try this again. I've got some of my flavor formula seasoning. This is the Chef's Backyard flavor formula. Good on everything rub. I love it. It's my signature spice. You can get it at my website, chefsbackyard.com, chefs-backyard.com. It'll take you to a little house mart um, store. And from there, you can purchase it. I just want to season up everything. Season inside of those wings too, right? There's some good meat there. Up in the armpit. Pull that back and get it inside of the top of the cavity too. Okay, now one of the things that I'm going to do on this bird is we're going to use a little bit of citrus. If I don't, uh-oh. If I don't use something inside of the bird to keep it from flopping around, then it's just gonna be flopping around, right? We wanna balance that load. 
And we're going to do that by putting a lemon and an orange inside of there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this over here. And we're going to center that. Now I'm going to start with this lemon. I'll go ahead and pull that uh, stem off. Let's see. Can you see that? Can you see that? I'm going to take the spit and go right through the middle of the lemon. Actually, I want to do it this other way. And I want to do it this way so that all that juice will go inside. Okay, we're going to put that in there. And we're going to do the same thing with the orange. Okay. Now, if you look, I'm getting those inside of the bird to give it a little bit of uh, weight, right? We might have to, we might have to trust it anyway, because those legs look pretty floppy. Let's see. One of the things that you can do, looks like there's enough skin here, is on this flap over here, pierce a, pierce a small hole. Do the same thing on the other side. And we'll run these uh, legs right through that. Okay. And that'll naturally kind of hold it. There we go. Now with the wings, let's see. With the wings, we're going to fold those back over themselves. All right, and that should be good. Yeah, that's got a that's pretty good. I want to make sure that I'm inside of this leg. All right. Pretty happy with that. Let's move the camera one more time. All right. So here we go, man. It's already up to over 600 degrees. I can see in that smoke box that we've already got smoke. And that's awesome. So that's going to flavor the bird. Then I'm going to bring it over here. We'll place the chicken right inside of the rotisserie. I'm going to use my pliers and make sure that we've got these nuts are tight. You don't want them slipping off. Woo! Man, that's hot. All right, so I'm going to turn this one down. These two right here are going to be my, the main flavor providers, right? These two right here. And in fact, I might want to, let me, let, let me spin that. Oh yeah, that's going to cook so nice. It's pretty close to the flame. I'll bring you guys in in a second as far as with the uh, with the camera there. Let's see. Turn it off. Let's see. Oh man, that's too hot. I'm going to leave it where it is. We're going to let that roll. I'm going to turn it back on. And I'm going to season it while it's while it's uh turning there.
I remember when I first started with HEB, uh, I was working in the deli, and we would do batches of boxes of rotisserie chickens. So the chickens would come in, and they were in big boxes. And we, uh, yeah, careful, it's hot. It sure is, man. This thing is no slouch. It's no joke. So we would get we would get boxes of rotisserie chickens in and since i was working in the deli we had the rotisseries and i forget it was maybe 26 24 birds per oven per batch and we would stagger them about every two hours hour hour and a half to two hours we would do one one oven and then the other oven and and those things got so popular to where we were doing uh four ovens um at a time they brought in two more so we had we were just uh do constantly loading them and uh, at the end of the night we had to go ahead and uh get these chickens skewered uh on the rotisserie and it was three per rack and uh so we would <laughs> we would load them up and season them and then leave them there and then in the morning come in uh at eight o'clock in the morning we'd be um starting the chickens and and getting them going so uh I've done a lot of rotisserie chickens. Uh, what's different about those at the store is those are brine. They uh, they take a big a big needle and they they inject brine in the in the legs and in the uh, breast, and uh, that does a couple of things. It it pokes the skin, and so that allows some of the water to run out. And I'm going to do that just a couple of times here. So that way we can get sort of that same effect, especially back here on the back. There's a lot of fat in the back. And so that fat will begin to render out. But that'll also help us to start getting a little bit of a crispy uh, skin going on, right? Because that's kind of one of the things that you really like about the rotisserie chicken as well is that it's got that nice uh, crispy skin. All right, so we did that step. So now it's kind of hurry up and wait, right? Yeah, Mario, that brine is good. Um, and then they were using flavored brines. So I remember there was lemon pepper, there was mesquite barbecue, there was an Italian herb, and then we had a, a jalapeno one. And then later on, uh, as we got into the hatch stuff, now there's even a hatch chicken. Um, pretty cool stuff, man. It's a uh, food is food is endless is what I've learned, and that's why I want to share what I've what I've uh, picked up with you guys. I, I just think it's a fun topic, lifelong skill, and uh, good to know about. Let's see. I told you that we would go ahead and and get in there and look at that, right? So this is that Mesa four hundred. You got the clear view lid. Pretty cool because you can see that, see what's going on. Uh, you can already see the chicken is smoking, man. How about that? The chicken is smoking, and then there's a uh, smoke coming up from the smoke box back there. Uh, we've got these burners lit, and I'm gonna let it go kind of on high for a little bit. We're sitting at about 500 degrees, so I mean it's rocking, dude. But we need to bring it down to. I don't know, like probably like 400, 400 will be a good temp, somewhere between 350 and 400, but I'm going to let it go at this high temp for a little bit. I really want to render out that skin a little bit because one of the things that you can do also is you could leave this chicken in your refrigerator on a rack, on a drying rack, like one of these guys. You know, set it, set it on a, on a, on a pan and then put it on a rack like this and leave it uncovered. Um, in a commercial kitchen, you'll have big high, high convection, uh, high, a lot of fans going on, so a lot of wind movement, right? Um, you'll have, you'll have high, high air transfer over the chicken and the skin will dry out faster. It'll, it'll relieve a lot of its water. And by relieving the water, the skin renders the fat out faster because it doesn't have to let go of the water, right? But in this case, we gotta, we gotta get rid of that water, so that's why I'm gonna keep it high for a few minutes. We'll take a look at it, and we'll, uh, we'll let it roll. <sighs> I 
you know, I thought, I thought that I was going to do the vegetables underneath the chicken, but it doesn't look like I have enough room. There's not enough clearance. The chicken is really low to the, to the grates, um, which is good. All right, we're approaching 600 on this uh, grill, so I'm going to turn it down. Another cool thing about this, uh, about the monument uh, grills is their lights. Check this out. So if I was outside, if I was outside cooking, I could add a little light, a little bit of those blue lights. Look pretty cool, man. Woohoo! That's a good looking grill. How about that? And then, even with the clear view, you know, we can see inside and see what's going on, too. Pretty dang cool. All right. Look at that, man. You can see that. You can see that chicken rolling. So I don't even have to open that. I don't even have to open it because you can see what's going on inside of it. Um, I am a brand ambassador for Monument Grills. So if you use my link, you'll get a discount. Um, we're going to do a live stream on the Monument channel on Monday. Make sure you come on and check that out. I'm going to do some picanha and a couple of other things. Um, but I really wanted to get out and use the, use the rotisserie. Uh, first, before I um, before I went live with that one, right? So I'm here on my channel on the chef's backyard, and uh, you know, just checking it out, cooking dinner, living the good life, right? I got a little uh, Alamo San San Antonio sangria. This is a spike spritzer. It's kind of like a I don't know, like a wine cooler seltzer kind of deal. Tastes like sangria to me. But man, with that heat in there, we've already got, I can already see the fat rendering out. Man, let me show you. Let me show you. Pretty excited about that. So can you see all of the all of the spots that I that I poked with the Can you see all of the spots that I poked with the um, the knife there? You can see them, and they're kind of rendering out. The fat is dripping. And that's pretty cool. And you can see we're at 600 degrees. But I'm going to have to monitor those flare-ups, right? So I could put a sheet tray under there. And that's why I wanted to put the veggies there. Well, I don't think I have enough clearance to put them under there. Let's take a look. But I need to get them cooking. Oh, man. I'm going to have to. I'm really going to have to watch that. See all of that flare up? Yeah, let's go ahead and do those vegetables. Maybe I'll do it on a shallow tray. Let's see. I'm sorry. Let me go set the, the camera over there. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll put this guy under there. And then we'll do, let me see, let me get some, a little oil or something. Got some vegetable oil here. Put some oil on those vegetables. I know it's going to get it from the chicken, but then let's season this up.
Get your little flavor formula. All right, and there we go. Now it's going to push it all over to the side and help it out. All right, and then we'll get some water on there too because that's hot, bro. Or what do you think? You think some of that sangria would taste good on there? You think we should do a turn off the burner just beneath the bird? All right. Turn that guy off. Turn those a little lower. What do you think? Go for it. Yeah, let's do it. Heck yeah. I think last time, Mario, I think last time I cooked like this, um, I think last time um, I cooked like this, I was making beans or chili, and then we, we put some uh, Shiner Bach in there. All right, let's get that temp back up. We've dropped down to 350, and let's see. Uh, okay, I heard you. We'll go ahead and turn that guy low. We'll see what kind of temp we get in there. But you know the, uh, yeah, I, I got it. I'm a little late to the party, Mario. <laughs> so, but I went ahead and I turned it on. So we've got our burners are sitting here on low, medium, and then on low. We're coming back up to about 400 degrees. Dude, I love, I love that uh, clear view uh, lid, man. So fun. It's, it's, uh, like a kid, you know, whenever you, whenever you find out something neat, that's, that's where I'm at right now. Pretty darn cool. So, so far the rotisserie is turning like a champ. Do you have a grill, Mario? Yeah, so you just need the rotisserie, huh? The rotisserie, so this is about 60 bucks uh, from Monument Grills. Super fast shipping. This is the rotisserie kit. Um, 97222. Uh, about 60 bucks and then about 400 on the on the grill. All right, we're getting up to about 400. I'll try to crank it up just a little bit more. We'll get that dialed in. And then it'll be like a Ronco oven. Set it and forget it. So the grills are about uh, 400. And it's all stainless steel. Uh, got some really cool features on it. And then the uh, rotisserie kit is about $60. And 
I've got some links on my different uh, sites for that'll get you a discount. Uh, it's an affiliate code. And on Monday on Monument Grills, we're going to be doing on the Monument Grill sites, I'm going to be doing a live stream and there will be a $100 gift card that I'm going to give away. So uh, it'll be for participation. If you come participate and uh, shoot me comments and likes and all that kind of stuff for the hour that I'm there, then you have a really high chance of winning. Um, come in, like the, like the stream, uh, share the, share the stream, uh, get it, get it hype. Let's get some help, help me help them get some reach. Right. And then, um, you know, you could have a chance. Yes, sir. Monday. At, uh, 7 PM central, 7 PM central standard standard time. And I'll be doing some picanha and a couple of other dishes to go with that. Man, this is awesome. Jimbo, it's on Monday, uh, this coming Monday at 7 p.m. Central. Uh, so what would that be? 765 for you. Last time we did a grill giveaway, and uh, man, that was pretty awesome. It felt it felt really cool uh, giving the grill away. And uh, I saw one of the winners has already uh, reached out, and um, he's also done a video too. So pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Pretty neat to to help people out. That's that's what I enjoy doing is just using what I know, sharing that with everybody, and then if I can help. Then I will. What's up, Tony? Uncle Tony, what's up, brother? How are you, man? We're here cooking a rotisserie chicken on my grill, Tony. Um, we're doing rotisserie chicken, and I got some veggies going, too. It's going to be delicioso. Tiene mucho bueno sabor. Aquí en San Antonio, nosotros cocinando. We are cooking. That's right, baby. Right here in... San Antonio, Texas, Alamo City. Tonight we're doing a rotisserie chicken and some veggies. I'm enjoying a cold uh, sangria from San, An uh, San Antonio sangria from Alamo beer. Cool, Jimbo. I hope you tune in, man. It'll be good. Be good to uh, see you. On the, on the, uh, <laughs> see you on the live stream there. Orale, Mario, orale. <laughs> I wish I spoke, I wish I was comfortable speaking more Spanish. I get lost in the verbs, amos, emos, emos. Um, and so because of that, I don't, feel comfortable really uh, conversating. I can understand some words, but anymore, man, I, I don't have enough practice. Uh, it'd be pretty awesome to be able to do this in, you know, English and Spanish and, and, uh, you know, for sure for, for my YouTube channel, get a further reach. Um, you know, cause then, then it would really be global. Um, English, I think, you know, most, most people in the world are bilingual. Um, they speak their native tongue and English and, uh, you know, so they probably have a better chance of understanding me. Um, and I don't say that to be arrogant. Um, okay, cool. I'll look into it. I've seen them. I've seen them on there. Maybe Tony can teach me Spanish. What's up, Tony? All right. We're sitting about 400 degrees. The bird is turning, turn, turn, turn. Um, I'm losing a little bit of temp because I am opening the lid. But other than that, man, we are in a good spot. The thing is, it's going to take a while for it to cook, probably about an hour. So, um, but I got time. I got time to burn. I got time to hang out. 
Uh, I wish that I could play music, but every time I play music, it gets blurred out in the on the channels. And so I just stopped doing it. I know, like, I would, I would, uh, do some hangout kind of stuff on Facebook. And whenever I would do that, it would drop all of my audio. I remember we were, I was, I was playing the guitar and, and a Beatles song came on and, uh, all of the audio dropped out. Even everything that I was playing, it was, they've got some amazing processors that are able to do that. It just completely blocks it out. It's kind of crazy. Um, so that's why I'm not going to mess with that. Now, another thing that you could do to cook this chicken faster would be to spatchcock it. That is remove the spine, splay it out, crack the, crack the sternum and all of that stuff. And then it, it makes a thinner chicken instead of it being big and round. It's flat like that. And then you just kind of cook the whole thing and then it'll cook in about 30 minutes. Um, I don't know what my theme song would sound like, man. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Blues, rock, country, kind of all of that. I think it needs to touch all of that. Um, need a little uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan in there. And then, uh, you know, some, some of the other stuff I listen to too, man. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, we're just doing a little hangout here. Um, Monument Grills asked me to become a brand ambassador for them and they want me to go live a couple of times a month. So hopefully we'll have, uh, all right, all right. So hopefully I will have more giveaways and more opportunities to win stuff. Um, you know, we'll see what, we'll see what they have planned and what I can bring into, bring into light. Um, I'd love to get going with my spices, rock bluesy. That's right. Heck yeah, man, for sure. <laughs> Tony, I need uh, Bobby to put a song together for me, play some drums and, uh, and, uh, get Gabriel to, uh, get Gabriel to, uh, rock out some of the, some of the, uh, guitar there. What are you drinking tonight? Do you have a drink in your hand? I appreciate y'all hanging out with me tonight. It's nice. Always nice getting to chat with you. A soda. What do you have? Is it a, is it a, a cola? A Dr. Pepper? A Big Red? wonder what these buttons do. Let's see. Oh man, that'll give me crazy, crazy eyes. Hello. Whoa, bro. Hey, <laughs> that's funny. How about a little bunny? I'm a little bunny hopping through the forest. <laughs> All right, man. Enough of that. That's fun. Coors Banquet. Good choice. Um, I had, we sold the six pack, but customers were requesting the 12 pack. So I went ahead and brought them in. Pretty cool. Love being able to help, man. All right. I need a couple of tools. Let me go grab a spatula so that I can... Uh, Turn those vegetables. I'll be right back.
Oh man, just from coming, just from uh, going out and coming back in, it smells so good in here. <clears throat> Let's see. Stir them up, deglaze the pan a little bit. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's better this way. Let's see. All right, maybe we can grill some of those other vegetables over here. Go ahead and crank this heat up a little bit more again. That way we can let that do what it do. One of these days I'll have a kitchen, I'll have a switcher with multiple cameras, and I'll be able to just do it all. You'll be able to see whatever angle is the best angle. We've got some cooking spray over here that I'm putting on my grill grates. Put down some zucchini. Actually, I want to do it this way. I'm gonna do it that skin side down. That way I can season all of the all of the top side there. And I'm gonna hit that with cooking spray so it'll so it'll help the seasoning stick. We'll go ahead and season that. Put a little bit more of this on the bird. We'll even give it a little bit of a head start. Give it some of that grilling spray. That'll help the help to crisp up that chicken. It'll help these seasonings to stick. All of these little tricks, man, that if you don't get a chance to see it, you might not know if you're just a home cook. As a professional chef, I'm going to throw everything at you, right? I'm going to give you all of the tips and tricks that I know in every dish that I'm going to do because I want it to taste amazing for you, right? I want you to go, wow, that's probably one of the best things that I've ever had. And, uh, and that's sort of my mission, right? Because I've been cooking so long, the food that I cook should taste better, right? That's just uh, just kind of one of those things. <laughs> it's like you don't expect the... Uh... Oh, man. Thank you. Yeah, your Walmart brings in the 12-packs just for you? Badass, brother. That's cool. So yeah, what I'm thinking for Monday's thing is I, I want to do picanha, right? So the picanha should cook pretty quick. I think I'm going to use the pan underneath and then 
the uh ah uh, wine manager better even better cool badass um the uh underneath the beef i'll use a pan uh i want to do a pineapple so the uh the beef right the the sirloin cap with fat attached you want to score that get it nice and salty so that way it will uh you know render out just like we're rendering out this uh this chicken skin right and then um maybe some shrimp i'm thinking about underneath the beef uh catching those drippings and then towards the end doing uh garlic butter and then basting basting that over the beef basting that over the beef basting that over the beef pulling that off letting it rest and while it when it goes to rest uh take some shrimp and parsley and then turn that and lemon and turn that into a uh scampi a, a shrimp scampi and then uh the pineapple and then maybe some chicken or whatever else I find that's uh, on sale, right? Something for 99 cents or something. But we got some great cooking going on here, guys. Got the rotisserie chicken. It's blessing the vegetables. I've got some zucchini here. Getting grilled. Earlier I made a pot of beans in my Instant Pot, so I got a big old pot of beans inside too. So that'll be the starch for my meal. Oh, it's hot. All right, there we go. Let's see. I am going to have to keep on getting more liquid in there. So I got some more water and then I got this, uh, the nor call the boil, a little bit of a chicken and I'm going to put that on there on those vegetables and wash it down, turn that into broth, right? So every time I'm doing this, I'm deglazing the pan, right? We're releasing the fond that's built up on the bottom there. Let's see. You'll be quite fond of it. Turn the veggies. You can tell they're getting cooked because I got some in there that are pretty black um, from sticking to the bottom of the pan. They're not super soft yet, but those are big pieces of carrot, so I'm all right with that. Um, I can see some smoke building up from using that smoker back there. Um, so, like I said, man, I'm throwing a, I'm throwing everything I got at this chicken. It's gonna taste great. Smoked, seasoned chicken smoked seasoned rotisserie chicken cooked on the monument grills mesa 400 live tonight on youtube twitch and facebook i'd appreciate it if you gave me a like or a follow on my youtube channel um 
that one I've been working on for about 12 years and I'm almost at 50,000 followers. Um, at 42, seven, um, man, I would love to hit 50,000 before the end of the year. And, uh, you know, I just, it's, it's a goal. It's a goal of mine. Right. So that's where I want to get right now. And I hope I can make it. All right, we've been cooking for a while. I'm going to go ahead and add some butter into those vegetables. Come on, butter, butter. So we've got butter. We've got some chicken powder to turn that broth in there. We've got the wine-based drink, right? So, I mean, those, those vegetables are going to be amazing. No doubt. Go ahead and close the lid see where we're at trap that heat in because that's one of the things too right we're cooking on the rotisserie but you need the the oven you need the convection you need to retain that heat in there so that the chicken gets it right very pleased with the way that the chicken is looking i know you can see it right in there from your uh from the view you have right here on the clear view monument grills mesa 400 <sighs> see that butter's already melted <sighs> now we're also going to get frying right so as the As that moisture whittles away, the butter is going to begin to take over and coat all of these vegetables and glaze it. Man, so good. Check on those zucchini. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Tell you what. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Man, look at that. All right. Zucchini ready. I'm going to take Mario's advice, turn that one right underneath the chicken off. Woo, smoke in. All right, let's see what we got going on there. Crank this guy up. That way the heat is coming this way. Turn that down, turn that down. And let's see where we sit on temperature. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me uh, here at the Chef's Backyard. Uh, again, this is going live on YouTube, on Facebook, and on Twitch.
Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. On Monday, we will be having a, a live stream on the Monument Grills channel. And there we're going to be giving away a $100 gift card to Monument Grills for accessories or whatever. If you want to use it towards the purchase of your grill, it's 100 bucks for you to use. So please tune in and, and uh, meet us there. Yes, I will share the link. Um, it'll be on, on my Facebook. It'll be on my Chef's Backyard Facebook. It'll be on the Monument Grills. Um, if you go to Monument Grills YouTube, um, it's already a, a placeholder there. Let's see. I think I can bring these veggies back one more time. Let's see. They're close. They're close, but they're still pretty firm in the tender in the center. Um, you could actually eat them right just like that, but um, they'll be better if you let them finish cooking. I'm going to go ahead and turn this one right under it to low. The other day I was cooking and uh, I ran out of propane, man. I was like, whoa. So today I went and filled up my tank. I thought I had enough to get through grilling some burgers and I was about, I don't know, 12 or 15 minutes short on that. So, but it happens. Uh, especially for the live stream. I don't want that to happen, right? I was just cooking off camera for my family. So and it wasn't such a big deal. I could just pull it over and um, throw it on my little propane stoves. And because I have the little little propane tank ones, the little individual cans. Yeah, I was on. No. <laughs> but it's fun, man. I uh, I love this stuff. Holy meatballs. That chicken is rocking. I'm so I'm so happy with the way this is turning out. Um, we're doing. I'm I'm participating in a crawfish boil with my buddy Mike. My buddy Mike has a company called Almighty Spices, and he got started because I was working Cooking Connection at a lawn market, and he would come in, and he would say, "Man, hey John, I." Uh, uh, I'm interested in, in uh, selling spices, but I don't know how to go about it. I was like, well, first figure out what your blend is, figure out what your spice is. And then he brought me uh, like every version. Like he started bringing me all of, all of the revisions. And uh, I was like, bro, like stop changing it. You already got something good. You already like it, like stick to it and move forward. And that guy, he's got, he's got his products in, Man, probably a hundred stores. He goes, he goes on his days off and he goes to uh, all these little mom and pop kind of places 
and he sells them a couple of cases and and runs on well a year ago uh one of my buddies that runs food events here in town reached out and and said hey uh looking for participants for a uh for a crawfish bowl so i reached out to mike and i said hey man you want to do it because his his deal is Almighty Spices, and he's got a lot of seafood. And he had he had just come out with a with a crawfish boil and a crab boil, and a, a seasoning, right? And and so I was like, dude, you you gotta do this, right? So we went and we uh, participated. It was at Sunset Station, and we came in second place, man. Beat out people that were people that do it all the time. So you know, it's just it's that passion, it's that love, it's the years of cooking and knowing the inner techniques on how things work. Um, that's how we're able to go in and, uh, and, and, you know, shake them up. It's like, it's like, uh, they don't believe it. And then, and then you show up with your little bag of ingredients and you're like, yeah, watch me now. Hold up. Dude. No, you gotta see this. Holy moly, man. Let's see. Oh, man. Get out of town. Look at that beauty. Let's see. My, oh, my. Golly, that's looking good. You know, it's one of those things, like right now, I know my family is inside going, oh, we're hungry. How come it wasn't ready an hour ago? But then whenever they eat it, they'll be quiet. They're going to be like, that was delicious. <laughs> I know. You know why? Because I put my heart and soul into it. It's right there. Just right there. That's it, man. What I say, put your best foot forward. I try to leave my life, man. Ain't nobody half stepping. I'm in it to win it, Papa. Oh man. Hopefully we're hopefully we're like uh less than twenty minutes away from it being ready, but I don't know. We'll see. What I am really proud of, what I am really proud of is I put that lemon in there. I put that orange in there. And do you see how the, the chicken is not moving, right? Um, I was able to get it uh, trussed up perfect without anything additional. So um, super excited about that. That'll be a good share. I can, I can remake a video on that, on that technique right there. And that'll be awesome. <laughs> oh, thank you, Gloria. Thanks, yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. We're doing a, a rotisserie chicken on my grill. It's uh, a grill company reached out to me, and uh, the name of the company is Monument Grills, and uh, they sent a grill to me and asked for a review of it and then um they liked i guess they liked the review and asked me to be a brand ambassador and then they sent me a rotisserie so i got it in the mail the other day and i was off and so tonight i wanted to go ahead and cook a cook a chicken so thank you so much for tuning in um i don't know if you had a chance to see the close-up but look at it man that thing is a golly it's beautiful we've got a chicken over here and i've got some vegetables over here I already grilled some zucchini. I grilled some zucchini over there on the on the side. And uh, they also sent me a smoke box. So this little box right here has smoker chips in it. And they caught on fire. And they're adding a smoke flavor to all of the food in there. Which is pretty nice. Here I've got some carrots, onions, and celery. And then in that liquid, in the juice, uh, is 
the seasoning, it's water, and it's also a little bit of a sangria that I was drinking and some chicken powder. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop, stop the rotisserie for a second and we're gonna check the temperature. And I always like to check it in the thigh, right in the, right in the thigh, because that's the part that takes the longest to cook. Right now we're at 138, 140 degrees. Oh, thank you so much for tuning in. You need to come and get some. Come and try some, right? So we're getting close on the on the on the chicken, right? My neighbor my neighbor is practicing their trumpet. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear it or not. Oh man. You see that? So this some of the cool technology about this uh, this grill is it's a four burner. It has these uh, really cool blue lights on it. Blue LEDs that you can turn on and off. It has the clear view lid so that you can look in and see how your food is cooking, which I'll tell you on something like this, I'm getting such a big kick out of. It's uh, man, it's making it's it, it's making it really fun to cook because. You can see what's going on. I don't have to open the lid and, and change the cooking time. I'm opening the lid just to show you how good it looks. But man, I'll tell you, this is probably something that you would be able to just uh, set it and forget it, especially if you had those electronic meat thermometers that you can just put in there and it will alert you at whenever it's uh, to your desired temperature. I'm not that fancy yet. I don't know. Maybe somebody will find it in their heart to send me one. I don't know. Whatever. But um, right now we're cooking this chicken and it is awesome. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pull those vegetables off. Uh, maybe I'll let them cook another two minutes. I'll let that. Uh, I'll let all of that fawn. Yes, on Monday I'll be cooking live. Yeah, yeah, we'll be cooking live on the Monument Grills channel, and we'll be giving away a one hundred dollar gift card. So, if uh, if you can tune in, tune in. You know, uh, it'll be fun. Seven o'clock, seven p.m. Central, and uh, we'll be rocking and rolling. I'll be doing a kind of a Brazilian uh, grill kind of theme. I want to do some picanha, so the, the top sirloin cooked on the rotisserie. Um, maybe some shrimp and uh, a pineapple, some vegetables, some other kind of stuff. So, you know, it should be, it, it'll be fun for me, uh, but hopefully I will come in and uh, tune in and enjoy it as well and uh, get to enjoy the experience. So because of Monday's event and they sent me that grill, I wanted to make sure that I make sure that everything I wanted to do would work, right? So I got the the rotisserie installed today and then I got the uh uh we're cooking a chicken. So it's definitely going to work and it also gives me an idea of the grill space that I have to play with. Uh, so depending on how big the meat is, what I'll be able to do and things like that. Um, I'm excited about being able to use that smoke box and add the smoke in there. Um, I can see that kind of coming up and over the chicken. So that adds another layer of flavor. That way it's not just grilled, but it's also smoked, which uh, enhances the flavor and gives you more of a live fire cooking uh, sort of uh, flavor, which is what we all love, man. That's how we grew up, right? You know? going to the river and cooking food, um, stuff like that. So these are uh, some vegetables that I cooked. Let's see. They're still a touch crispy um, and they've got a nice flavor to them. So I think we got a winner there. Now I'll crank up this outside. I'm cranking up the outside heat to really start generating 
uh, the final cook over here. I've got the one underneath it on low. Uh, thank you, Mario, for that tip. Uh, it, it seems to be working really good. And I've got this one next to it kind of cranked up a little bit more. Um, and, and the reason that was important is because whenever this was up on high, uh, that chicken juice was dripping down and it was catching on fire and I was getting a lot of flare ups, right? But right now we're in a good spot. Whoa, you see it? Ah, that's that clear view. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, visually, what I can see is I can see that the chicken is starting to brown. Uh, the, the oil that is on the chicken that's staying there is starting to um, kind of crisp up the skin. And those are kind of ter telltale signs that your uh, chicken is getting close to being done. I can see on the wing and on one part of the leg that the skin has already busted through. It's been, been uh, really tight. So we'll be watching for, for that uh, to make sure that, uh, you know, those appendages don't fall off. But pretty exciting stuff. On the grill, on the grill side, it's it's setting to 400. Uh, so I like that temperature. I like where that's at. And I'm, I'm really trying not to open the lid. What's up, Oliver? How are you? Thanks for tuning in. We're cooking here on our Monument Grills Mesa 400. Um, tonight we're doing the rotisserie, and I'm doing a chicken. Um, recently the company reached out and asked me to be a, a brand ambassador. And so we're going to do a live stream on Monday, this coming Monday. If you go to their channel, Monument Grills, um, on YouTube, you can see there's already a placeholder. And, and on that grill, I'll, on that event, on the live event, I'll be grilling some picanha and some other stuff. So I hope that you tune in um, and, and from there share. And then we'll be giving away a, a gift card, a $100 gift card. And so you'll have a chance to win. Um, and it'll be based on activity, right? So if you tune in, you share the, you share the broadcast uh, and you, uh, you know, comment and, and interact with us, then you'll have a great chance of, of winning. Um, and that hundred dollars could be for the price of a grill. It could be for some of the accessories like this, this rotisserie about 60 bucks. And, uh, so if you already have a grill, check the measurements of your grill and maybe, maybe you can add on a rotisserie like this and do some delicious homemade rotisserie chicken, some picanha, some, uh, pork loin, some beef, beef roast. I mean, lots of beautiful stuff that you could do, but so far tonight on the grill, what we've cooked is I was able to grill some, uh, zucchini, do some grilled zucchini on here. And then... We just pulled off some vegetables and those vegetables, it's carrots, onion, and celery. And I had those underneath the chicken. See right now we're getting some flare ups. So because I had these underneath, it uh, helped to avoid that while it was cooking. But man, having this, the clear view lid is really awesome because it lets you see what's going on. And now we're approaching 450 degrees inside of the grill. I'm going to turn off this middle one right under the right under the chicken. As you can see, it's nice and hot and it's it's doing its thing, right? But if we get too much of that, we might burn the chicken. Uh, hopefully we're like in the last 10 minutes of cooking on this chicken. And uh, and then we will need to let it rest just a little bit, right? Because uh, if you cut into it while it's while it's really Hey, what's up, chips? How's it going? Howdy from Texas. Hello from Tennessee. Howdy from Texas, right? Um, we're cooking on the Monument Grills uh, Mesa 400. Uh, it does have the clear view lid. And on Monday, this coming Monday, I'm going to be doing a live stream on the Monument Grills channel. Uh, I'm a brand ambassador for the company and, you know, we want to give away some free stuff. So we're giving away a $100 gift card. I'm doing great. How are you, Chips? I'm doing great, man. I am cooking dinner 
I'm hanging out with some of my friends and family here on uh, YouTube, on Twitch, and on Facebook. Uh, so it's super great to see you join in and, and join us. Um, for this grill, it's uh, made by Monument Grills. It's stainless steel. This is the Mesa 400. It's a four burner grill. It's got those nice um, LED lights on the, on the handles, nice big responsive handles. And tonight we're doing a rotisserie chicken. Let me go ahead and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring y'all in closer with the camera here because I wanna show it off, right? So here on the grill, you have a side burner. I'm not able to use that right now because I am using the rotisserie, but that's okay. So we've got four burners and we're cooking this chicken here. Man, look at how good that looks. I don't know about you, but that is mouth watering. And I've got a little smoke bar here, so that's full of smoke chips. And we've also grilled some nice zucchini to go along with that. But man, look at that chicken. Delicious. I'm going to close the lid so we can finish cooking. But I really appreciate you all uh, tuning in. Um, on like I said, on Monday, we are going to, on, thanks Koto, on Monday, we are going to uh, do another live stream on the Monument Grills channel, and on Monument Grills channel, uh, we're going to give away a $100 gift card for Monument Grills products, right? You can use it towards the price of a grill, you can use it for some accessories, um, lots of other stuff. This grill is about $400 if you buy it straight up. Um, The rotisserie was about 60, the smoke bar about 40. But my name is John, I'm, I have a channel called Chef's Backyard. Um, and on that channel, I share cooking tips, tricks, and how to's. And tonight we showed you how to rotisserie a chicken. We're kind of at the end stages of it, but I appreciate you all joining in. Uh, happy to meet you, uh, especially from Tennessee. Kodo, I'm not sure where you're from, uh, but I'm in Texas and uh, and tonight we're cooking dinner. So having a lot of fun here at the Chef's Backyard studio. Holy moly, man, that is awesome, Chips. Are you a welder? <laughs> yes, awesome, man. That is that is quite a skill. It's uh Man, I, I didn't I didn't learn that one. I'm I'm somewhat handy. I can put stuff together, uh, but I haven't I haven't uh, learned how to weld. Uh, instead, I guess cooking was my was was the was the direction that I went. Man, but I, I would like to see that smoker. 135 gallons, huh? How how big is that? Is that like big enough for you to stand up in, or is it as tall as tall as a man? Sounds big. All right, I'm gonna pause that chicken right there and we're gonna check that temp again. Something that I noticed is we're getting a little splitting in the skin right there. All right, thanks Mario. Yeah, we'll see you Monday. I appreciate you for tuning in, brother. It was great hanging out with you. And uh, we need to cook in real life sometime soon, man. Uh, like I said, we're doing uh, crawfish boil on the 3rd or 4th. It's whatever Saturday is. After that with uh, Almighty Spices. And um, so I'm, I'm sitting at 150 on the chicken. So it needs a little bit more time. But we'll let it roll, right? We'll let that chicken roll. Like Garth Brooks. And the chicken rolls. Uh, but yeah, man, whenever you're in town, I uh, hope the family is well, and it's uh, great to see you. Much love, brother. So also right now, I don't have the warming rack, but I could use this right on top, right? I could use this right on top of the grill to retain that heat. We've got some great veggies that we cooked. I've got that um, zucchini that we grilled. And we don't want to, uh, 
by eight feet, seven inches long, Chip. That's amazing, dude. Yep. And, and so is it going to be like an offset smoker kind of deal? Much love, Mario. Awesome. So, Tennessee, Tennessee. Here in Texas, uh, our our big barbecue thing is briskets. What what do y'all do? I mean, do y'all still do a lot of pork over there? Or are you moving on to to more beef, or you do a mix mixed grill kind of deal? I'm going to go ahead and turn my studio lights back on. I turned them off to kind of show off the, the uh, blue lights, the blue LEDs on, the, on the, the grill there. But we'll go ahead and get, get a little bit more light um, in here. Man, that's a good looking bird. Oh, I'm so excited. I know my kids are mad because they're like, Dinner should have been ready an hour ago. Well, I wanted to come in and I wanted to live stream and I wanted to hang out. And I knew that I wanted to uh, share this, sh share this stuff with you guys too. So they'll be happy in a little while when they're able to eat. Oh yeah, that is so good. Oh, uh, thank you, Cardo. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. So a lot of ribs and a lot of whole pigs, huh? Oh yeah, dude, you could do a whole pig in there. That'd be awesome. Here, um, I've done a couple of pig roasts and we'll usually do it with cinder blocks. Um, but wow, dude, that's going to be awesome. Eight foot, seven inches long. That's exciting. And also, Koto, on um, YouTube, go and check out Monument Grills. That's where we'll be doing the live stream on Monday, this coming Monday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And we'll be giving away a $100 gift card. So come on in, uh, like the, like the uh, stream, share the stream, be active on there, and you'll have a chance to win a $100 gift card. Woo-wee! That's going to be awesome, man. That's good, Chip. Five whole pigs at once. Dude, that's going to be quite a feast. That's like a, that's like a feed the town kind of event, huh? I love it. We're getting close, guys. We're getting close here on the final cooking time. It's been an hour and a half on the stream. Um, so hopefully within the next 10 or 15 minutes, we're good on the chicken. Then it's got to rest a little bit of time too. And so what I'll do is whenever that is resting, I'll go ahead and turn everything off. I'll put all the veggies in there, bring them back up to temp, and then uh, we'll be ready to eat dinner. I made a pot of beans earlier in my Instant Pot. And uh, so those are ready too. So man, we're gonna we're gonna feast down tonight. Get that grub going. Can't be happier with the way that this chicken is coming out. I don't know if you're still there, Oliver, but thank you so much um, for reaching out. I really appreciate it. I'm having fun and uh, enjoy sharing what I know. And uh, it's a uh, it's it's a blast, man. Oh, nice, man. Nice. Nice. 
definitely in the springtime, summertime, right? Be good. That'll be good. We had uh, my buddy, so I'm doing a, a crawfish boil with my buddy Mike. He's got a, a brand called Almighty Spices. And uh, first video I did with him uh, was at his Knights of Columbus uh, kitchen at, at, at the church. So um, he went, they were doing having a church festival and they were doing a big old pot of gumbo and he said, let's film it. So we, we put together a video on, uh, on doing gumbo uh, several years ago, man, and I had fun uh, making that video and, and eating that gumbo and, and hanging out with Mike, man. It's fantastic. Much love, man. Cook, cooking and food is love, right? Uh, you, you share food with someone. Um, man, it's a, it's a beautiful thing, at least in my mind. So on these veggies, we did a little seasoning, a little butter, a little broth. We did uh, some, some chicken broth powder and water. And then I, I had a little uh, sangria beverage out here. And so I poured one of those guys in there too. And so these veggies are full of flavor. The zucchini is just uh, grilled. What's up, Alvin? What's up, brother Alvin? How you doing, man? Food is love, dude, all day, right? And you know about those delicious steaks, dude, the best steaks. Alvin Rios, mar market manager, man. I love it, dude. Hey, man, on Monday, we're going to do a live stream on the Monument Grills channel. Um, we're going to give away a $100 gift card. And uh, so try to check that out if you can, if you're if you're off and, and not working. So 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, monument grills channel this is this is my channel this is chef's backyard and uh on this channel i share cooking tips tricks and how to's uh monument grills is all about the grilling focus and and how to make delicious food and uh, and and bring that into your lifestyle right um and that's what we want to do here uh so i'm so happy that y'all have joined me tonight and uh you know kind of hanging out and uh and uh, uh we'll give away that hundred dollar gift card and, and the way that we're going to vote on who does that is, you know, who shares the stream, who's active in the chat, um, all that kind of stuff. So last time we gave away a grill. I'm looking forward to my partnerships with uh, Monument Grills. And hopefully we can do just, you know, more stuff, more stuff. It's, it's been a lot of fun. I'm having fun. Let's see. Time to check on that chicken. Let's see what you're doing. Let's see. Let's see. So we hit 165. I'm going to let this guy spin for just a couple more minutes. We're going to render out a little bit of that fat in that skin. And then we're going to rock it out. Let me check the breast too. I haven't checked the breast uh, since I've been up here. Oh, that skin is nice and crispy. That means it's ready. Here we go. Keep spinning. You spin me right round. Babe. So on the menu, I've got a rotisserie chicken. I grilled some asparagus over here on this side. I, I use that part to grill the asparagus. Here on the grill, I have a little smoker box. And so that was full of wood chips. And in there, it's providing that live fire smoke that tastes so good, right? So we're doing that over on uh on the chicken as well and then i've got some vegetables and those veggies it's just uh carrots some celery and onions carrots celery and onions uh but we roasted it here on the grill as well <laughs> 
So lots of good food there. I'll go ahead and put those guys in there. Let them get hot with that chicken. Uh, we had the grill up to about 600 degrees earlier. That's how I started. We got a nice little crisp on the skin. We kind of poked as, as the, the chicken was turning, we poked in the skin and that kind of helps some of the water to run out and, and it starts to help the fat to render faster. You could air chill that chicken and put it in your refrigerator and you know, it might take about two days. If you put it on a little rack, you know, something like this, if you put, if you put your chicken up on top of there, that way you get airflow all of the way, all the way around and any juices can drip down. Of course, put it in a pan, right? So you catch all of those drippings. You want to be food safe. Um, but you dry out the skin and you get a crispier skin on that chicken. And oh man, that's so fantastic. Mm. But uh, we seasoned this guy up and we cooked it. Looks like I need to change out the propane tank. It's that time. So one of the cool things about uh, this Monument Grills Mesa 400 is it's got a great storage here for the propane tank. And it's right there in the right spot, right? So everything fits here. It's been a great engineering provided by that company. Go ahead and turn that on. And then we'll get some heat going. And just like that, we're back in business. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that one low. We'll turn this one high, this one low, and then let these other ones go high. And then that way we can get that heat back up. I saw it was dropping. We're at 300 degrees right now. Oh yeah. Um, Yeah, I don't, I don't have any experience with Weber grills. I know that they're one of the standards, but uh, I'll tell you what, uh, I have been cooking for 25 years professionally, and uh, I've owned several grills in my life, charcoal grills, propane grills, and um, this one uh, has some modern updates. Uh, the, the height of the grill versus the burners is right. It's nice and close, so you can get a good sear. The temperature control on this thing, um, you can go from something really hot to uh, something in the 300 degree range uh, pretty quickly, pretty easily. Uh, so it's real responsive. And uh, I'll tell you, man, I am just super pleased using this and uh, in, enjoy cooking with it and on it. And uh, I'm happy to be a part of the Monument Grills team. Like I said, I'm a brand ambassador. I, I am a chef. I've been cooking for 25 years and Monument Grills reached out to me and asked me if they would, uh, if I would do a review of one of their grills and they sent me the uh, Mesa 400. That's what you're looking at here. It's got a side burner, 12,500 BTUs on that side burner. So that's like pro kitchen equipment. It's that's higher BTUs than your, uh, than what you get in your, your kitchen stove, um, unless you have a professional stove in your, in your kitchen. And, um, uh, man, the, the, the way that the lid is, I just think, I think that the cooking cavity is great. I haven't like, you wouldn't use this to smoke a brisket, but you would definitely, this is a, this is a grilling machine. Uh, if I take the rotisserie out, then there's a warming rack that'll go right in there, right on top. And that comes with the comes with the with the oven 
or with the with the grill right it sits right back there but inside of that lid um, it's got a nice side table so we can do that it's got the blue LEDs it's just a fantastic piece of equipment and I'm enjoying using it and that's that's why I can recommend it is because I have one what's up chef Cantor how are you my brother thank you thank you so much man you know how much I learned from you brother um, and, and and always still learning I, I love following your journey um, if you don't know, man, follow this guy. He's a he's a global phenomena, <laughs> global phenomena. Yeah, man, good stuff, dude. So we are uh, cooking on the Monument Grills Mesa 400, and on Monday we're going to do a live stream on the Mesa Grills YouTube channel and YouTube Facebook. So tune in, and uh, we'll be giving away a one hundred dollar gift card. <sighs> We're getting pretty close to a cooked chicken there. I don't know. Let me see. Do y'all want to? Y'all want a close up? Y'all want to see a close up of that cooked chicken? Right here, I got some veggies that I cooked. It's carrots, carrots, celery, and onions. Right. I did some grilled zucchini. I have always used the same as my dad and grandpa. All right, let's see it. Yeah, baby, let's see it. So look, that chicken is turning right there, right there. One of these days I'll have a fancy camera studio that'll just zoom in automatically. Right now I got to do it by hand. But man, look at that. Dude, look at that. So pretty. So pretty. It's got a great color. You can see that the, that the fat on the skin is rendering out. Um, you can see it dancing right there on the skin too, right? Oh, man, glistening, glistening. What a beautiful bird. All right, so. Let me check the temp again. We'll go ahead and stop it. Fifty-five, sixty. All right, we're sitting at one fifty-eight, so we need we need to keep going a few more minutes. Have you ever cooked over a wood fire? Yes, chips, I have, man. I uh, I started cooking as a young boy um, by by watching my mom cook food, helping out in the kitchen, and then uh, in my teens. Later, Alvin, thanks for tuning in, brother. We'll see you soon, man. Uh, see you on Monday, Monday night, right? Monday night raw. <laughs> Monday night monument grills. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, man, cooking over a live fire, uh, that's, in, in my teens, I was a Boy Scout, and I, I learned how to cook on, at campsites, and in my backyard, and uh, kind of, that's really what ignited my, my passion for, for food and cooking, right, is uh, it became, you take those primal elements of just wood, and whatever food you have, and um, and it, it, it kind of ignites something inside of you. And what uh, I've, I've done it professionally. We've done a couple of with, with uh, the chef cooperatives, one of the, one of the groups of chefs that I hang out with. We do uh, big community events about three or four times a year. And they're always for a great cause. And uh, we, we always use live fire. So like whole animal, whole animal on a spit over live fire. Um, we have this really big swing set, and we've got two big, uh, two big grills, uh, and and we can like kind of, kind of, kind of rotate them, and and uh, 
swing them over there so whenever the guests are arriving they see all of the animation and the they get the smoke from the stumps and the man it's so much fun have you know big big pots of sides on that on that grill too getting hot staying hot um and then and then like you know your your fajitas your pieces of meat your your whole boston butts um you know we've done whole goats whole pigs uh we with Adrian Davila, we did an event. Uh, he did he did an event in Seguin, Texas, and he did a whole half of a cow splayed out on display, and and we did a serving off of that. So so the whole cow was cooked. It was suspended in wire, and uh, and we would go in and 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 cut that out, bring it to the cutting board, and 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 portion it out that way. Man, so much fun. Uh, I have done a lot of live uh, live fire cooking. And that's one of the things that I think is cool about that little smoke box, right? So even though we're using the convenience of propane, you can still use a tool like this to get in there and uh, provide live smoke, which, which is a, a tremendous element of flavor for your, for your food. And, uh, and so, uh, um, that's one more reason why I'm super excited about this chicken here, because not only are we, are we cooking it on propane, we've got, I've got a lemon and an orange in the cavity of the chicken, and then we're providing smoke for the outside of it. So I'll tell you what, man, that's going to be awesome. And I'm excited to share that. Sorry, my, I got a text here and I got to turn it off. All right, we're back. So yeah, man, um, chips, I, I, I have done some, some great live fire cooking and let's see. Somewhere in here on the on the other side of that stuff, I've got some um, I've, I've got some uh, charcoal over there. We've got wood chunks here, so I mean, have have fire will cook, right? That's that's where I'm at. Uh, one thing I have never used is the pellet grill. I, I, I do not have a pellet grill. I've I've never owned one. Uh, but but I I love the idea of the convenience of it. I love the uh, idea of being able to dial in the time and temperature, and then uh, set up the set up the continuous smoke. I, I think that the technology in it is fantastic, um, but I've never personally used it. Let's see. I think we're almost on on this chicken. Yeah, for sure. Yep, for sure. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that stuff in there. We're going to turn off the heat and we're going to let this all sit for about 10 minutes and then it'll be time to eat. Oh, that was your first smoker when you were 16 was a, uh, was a pellet smoker. Cool, man. That's awesome. And, and now you're graduating. I don't think, I think that honestly, truly nothing beats a stick burner, right? in terms of flavor, but it's hard. There's a, there's a lot that you have to do to get it right. There's a lot that you have to know and learn in order to get to the point where you are ready to, uh, to, to cook like that, you know, 
You've got to learn the cook times of the wood, how dry is your wood, what type of wood are you using, how far away is the heat source, how do you have to rotate the, the food through it. Uh, there's, there's a lot of knowledge that needs to happen in order to do that. But, um, man, I'll tell you what, when, whenever you get that down, now that you got your, your super smoker that you're building, uh, man, you, you're going to be, you're going to be awesome. Cool, man. Do it. Do it. That's, that's the best way, right? You, you, uh feed your passion through that and, and you learn and you meet other people that are, that are passionate about those things too. And you learn from them and YouTube university, right? You learn, learn through YouTube and learn through, learn through connections like this, right? We talk about it and we say, Hey, this worked, this doesn't, um, let me show you what I learned. Let me show you what so-and-so is doing. Yeah, man, that kind of stuff. It's amazing. And, uh, it really, it really does make a huge difference. So nice to meet you, Chips. Thanks for tuning in. Um, uh, I look forward to, uh, to, to chatting with you more, man. It's a, uh, it's a good thing. All right, let's, uh, let me see. Oh, it needs to rest. It just needs to rest. Now this is that kind of dead time, right? Dead time where it's like, uh, man, ain't, ain't nothing cooking going on, but it's, uh, you got to let that meat rest so that it stays tender. I think I'm going to go ahead and turn it on the rotisserie so that it continues to get that action inside and the moist, um, the moistness will go ahead and rebalance itself and every piece will be nice and moist, tender and juicy. Nice and moist, tender and juicy. I really appreciate you all tuning in tonight. My name is John. Uh, I have a YouTube channel called Chef's Backyard. Been working on that for about 12 years now. Um, and part of my journey uh, right now, I'm a brand ambassador for Monument Grills. Tonight, we're cooking on the Mesa 400 using my brand new rotisserie. They do offer a rotisserie for that. They got a lot of great accessories. Have a good night, Chips. Bless you too. God bless you and your family as well, sir. Good luck on, good luck on, your, uh, on your smoker, on your competition. And stay connected, man. Nice meeting you. So tonight we're cooking on the Mesa 400, cooking on the rotisserie. We did a rotisserie chicken, a couple of veggies. Inside earlier today, I cooked a uh, whole, uh, whole pot of beans. So that'll be ready for us in there too. And in just a minute, we'll, we'll break this guy out and I'll carve it. And I can show you that too. Hopefully, as long as the, as long as the stream doesn't quit. Because I'm, I'm pushing two hours. So I don't know how far it'll go. I guess what I'll do is at 55, we'll pull it. Let me go grab a cutting board. All right, so here with the uh, rotisserie, grab it by the handle, grab the spit.
I'm going to change camera angles on you guys. Come over here. What's up, Starving Orphan? All right, so we're doing a little live stream. My name is John. I have a channel called Chef's Backyard. And tonight we're doing a rotisserie chicken. I've got some vegetables. Got some zucchini. And I have a chicken. You know what I need to do? I need to go get a clean knife. Sorry about that. Be right back. Don't leave. Don't leave me. All right, I'm back. So I went to get a knife. I just had to get a knife. So we've got our rotisserie here. And let me take off this side. And then we'll go ahead and get the chicken off of there. And start underneath and behind the, the spike there. Oh man, that is a beautiful bird. All right. So here we are. So this is my rotisserie chicken that I cooked on the Monument Grills Mesa 400. We've got a little bit of skin there. We're going to go ahead and remove that. I used that skin to anchor this leg. And one of the first ways that you go in is right here on the leg. Now I'm going to grab this and push down. You see the leg there? You see the, the leg bone there? I'm going to turn it. I'm just going to help it along, right? We want all of that meat. We want to get in there. And cut through the bone. There you have it. The first leg quarter. We're going to do the same over here. Again, right in that seam. We're going to go ahead and push that down. Pull and push. Right. We want to look for that leg socket. So that way we can get all of that meat. Now, you can pull out the backbone. And inside of the chicken while it was roasting, I did a lemon and an orange. And then now I'm going to go ahead and pull out that backbone. Cut through it. Cut through it. There we go. All right, so we've got those bones right there. What I like to do is go ahead and, and turn this chicken over and look for the center of the, of the breastbone and push down. And now you've got a nice, juicy breast quarter. And we can take off the wing in the same way, right? Go ahead and pull and separate. Look for that joint and then come down through it. Now you've got some juicy, whoops, sorry, trying to show the camera. Got some juicy chicken wings, juicy chicken breasts.
and some legs that are fantastic. All right. Now, for the moment that we're all waiting for, right? How does it taste? Dude, look how juicy that is. Look, look how nice and juicy that is. My goodness. It's still a little bit hot, but man. That is delicious. Let's see. This is that orange that was inside of the chicken. All right. Thank you, Yaya. All righty, guys. My name is John. It's been a pleasure hanging out with you tonight here on the live stream on Chef's Backyard. Tonight we cooked a rotisserie chicken and uh, we used our Monument Grills Mesa 400. We cooked some chicken. Let me see. Let me go ahead and bring you guys back down one more time. Sorry. One more time into that chicken. It's fantastic. I got to go. Peace. Love. We'll see you soon. See you on Monday. Don't forget about the live stream there on the Monument Grills channel. And go check me out, Chef's Backyard. Much love, love, and peace. We'll see you soon. Bye. Have a great night.